hello everyone once again welcome back to my channel uh, last video we discuss about the one dimensional array and today we will discuss about two dimensional array in photon we can create up to seven dimension array in a photon but one and two dimensional array are mostly used array in a photon so without further ado let's dive into the second dimensional array so let me write a comment two dimensional array okay and Okay, I will create one simple program uh, giving the array name and uh, end program and implicit non. Now, uh, two dimensional array in a photon is like a matrix. So, you, you can see here this matrix. This is the matrix of order 2 times 3. Okay, so as it has two rows and uh, three columns. So this is two times three order matrices and this is the example of second dimension array okay and we are going to create that matrix using the photon code so uh, i want integer data type okay and i will create a mat a and uh, remember we can create array using the parenthesis after the variable uh, and i will give the order of that array okay so while creating the one dimensional array you can simply write the number of elements so if it has 10 elements we can write just 10 but we are going to create second dimensional array two dimensional array here and for the two dimensional array we need to separate two dimension using a comma so i want matrix of two times three order so i have to write two comma three so remember comma separates the dimension okay so this is two dimensions now if we give a comma and again four again five so it is four dimensional right now okay but uh, we are going to create two dimensions so two comma three is uh, the best example okay and and uh, if we multiply this two dimension two times three is six so matrix a will have six elements in a total as you can see here it has six elements okay now let's assign the values to the matrix a uh, as we assign the value in a one dimensional array using the indices in the second dimensional array also we can use the indices and so this is the indices 1 comma 1 that means the first row first column 1 comma 2 first row second column so this 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 2 comma 3 so these are the indices of that matrix a okay and we can assign the value using the indices very easily so i'll write at a and the, the I, I want to assign the first value 1 comma 1 that is the first element to be a 45 okay uh, and now let me copy paste this because i need about six times two three four five six okay and uh, let me change its order okay one comma that should be two that should be three and this should be 2 comma 1 and this should be 2 comma 2 and this should be 2 comma 3 okay and uh, you can see here uh, this matrix i am going to create so uh, say 1 comma 2 is the 47 okay and this is 49 and this is 46 and this is 48 and this is 50 okay assigning value is completed here it has six elements so six values are assigned okay now uh, we can print obviously print the values uh, so we can print the value using the indices as well so i will write use the print statement and i want to print second row third column value okay so let me run this program and check it out okay a dot out okay so we got 50 as you can see 2 comma 3 index is assigned as 50 now i want to print all the elements of that matrix a so like we did in the one dimensional array we can use the loop uh, but uh, since it has two dimension we need two loops that is called nested loop one loop inside the another loop and uh, for that we need integer variable to create the loop and two integer variable we need okay for the two loops 
so let me do do i equals to i integer will loop through the first dimension so first dimension as one and two in extent so i'll write one to two okay and do so first two is completed now i want to create another loop for the second dimension inside the first loop okay so j index and it has three extent so one two three uh, sorry uh, one comma three that means up to three and we can do and sorry and do okay so both loops are completed and i want to print out what i want to print out is matrix a and i and j so uh, this type of loop we have already discussed in the previous videos uh, of loop i think okay so you can check out that video if you don't understand this uh, this loop will go through all elements of the matrix for i equals to 1 it will go through j equals to 1 2 and 3 so matrix a 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 it will print out and similarly for the i value 2 j will go through 1 2 3 so it will come become 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 so like this way it will loop through all elements of the matrix okay so let me run this uh, yeah so we got 45 47 49 46 48 50 these are the six elements of the matrix a However, uh, the way it is printed out, it does not quite look like a matrix, okay? And we can make this output look like a matrix as well. Uh, for that, I need to change a little bit, okay? I want to erase this. And what I want is, I want to print mat a, ah, sorry, mat a i comma j, okay? But j, what is j value? We can give here j value, j equals to 1, 2, 3 and let's write this in a bracket okay this is another way of creating a nested loop so it is similar as previous but the output will look like a mat so let's see uh, what's the result okay see we got the same matrix that we want to print it out so this is of two first row and second row okay so two comma three 2 times 3 is the order of this matrix. So, this way we can print out the two dimensional array. This matrix we created has only 6 elements. So, it is not difficult to uh, write 6 statements to assign individual values. But what if uh, this matrix has higher order? Okay, let us say 10 times 20, okay, 20 times 30. Now, this way of assigning the value will be difficult. So, we have another way which is easy way to assign the values like we uh, used a short end way to assign the value in a one dimension. Okay. So, let me show you that first and uh, I want to create the same matrix. So, I just change the way of assigning the value. Okay. Uh, we can give short end way. What is the short end way? Short end way is simply we write the elements of the matrix elements are 45 46 47 48 49 okay 50 actually this is the way of assigning the values in a one dimension how to separate this all elements into two dimension so for that we need to provide the condition to distribute these elements so this line acts as a source okay now we need to provide the condition and the condition is we write the order so order is 2 comma 3 and we need to wrap this statement in a reset function okay so reset okay so what it does is this is the source it has six elements now six elements to be distributed in the two and three order using a reset function so let me check out whether it gives the same result or not so we got the same result and i think this is the better way to assign the value in a two dimension array okay as it has just one line and we can create up to many order 
uh, easily you just in a single line okay uh, now let me in create another matrix so i will give the name matrix b and uh, let's make it symmetrical i want to create uh, 2 comma 2 okay uh, 2 times 2 order of matrix and uh, let me assign the value in the similar uh, sorry in the similar way okay uh, I want to create mat b as well and uh, I need the reset function okay and in the reset function I need to provide the source and I need to provide the condition okay and the source that means the elements inside that so simply I want to create 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and the uh, we have to provide order here okay as a condition so a condition is 2 comma 2 so this matrix is completed now i want to print out the values uh, let me make one one let me print as uh, mat a okay and uh, now i want to create another print statement just to make it uh, more clear i want to say mat b and of two print the mat b elements that means of that is of two times two order i want to use a loop so do i equals to one comma two and do and uh, i want to print out what i want to print out is mat b i comma j but j value is one is to one to two and i want to wrap this inside the parenthesis okay so let me rerun so so this is the matrix a uh, and this is the newly created matrix b one two three four now what if we want this order to be reverse just to reverse this we need the transpose there is another function called transpose okay that changes its row elements and column elements so we can use that function in the matrix b so i will say transpose and for every function we need to write the parenthesis okay so what it does is it changes the row and columns of the matrix created by this statement okay so if we run this see we got now 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so the row and columns are interchanged but this transfer only works in a symmetrical type of matrices 2 comma 2 order 3 comma 3 order 4 comma 4 we cannot give transpose function in the matrix a because matrix a has the order of 2 comma 3 okay so this must for two dimensional array and if you have any question leave write down in the comment section below and we will continue in the next video.